everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee, and I've been coughing and sneezing and hacking, and I'm completely out of Benadryl. Ugh. So you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to make some brownie pudding for breakfast. No, I'm not. I don't have any brown sugar. You can't make brownie pudding without brown sugar. At least I don't think I can. So, uh, hmm. I think I'm going to make some kind of weird lasagna for breakfast. Fire. It's working! <laughs> because I just brought that oven in, and I've got the lasagna getting ready to go in it, and I didn't clean it up very good after having it on top of the, uh, here, let me hush this, let me hush this. Fire. Oops, can I hush it? Yes, I can't. Activated. Okay. It's not going to stop. <laughs> I brought this in, and I cleaned it up a little bit, but not very well, so there's probably some... <laughs> there's probably some stuff in there that's smoking that the, uh, the smoke detector doesn't like it, so i got to clean this up, uh, stop that smoke detector, and uh, cook all my lasagna. Good morning, beautiful girls. Hello, hello. Come get your nummies. Some leftover stuff from uh, the weird lasagna I'm making. I'll tell you what's in there later. <laughs> it's weird. All right, let's go see the little baby chickens. I gotta go get their food first. At least a little bit of their food. And see what they're doing. Because, yep, they spent the night in here last night. There they are. They all did well. It looks like the big girls kind of bedded down there. You can't see it. But underneath of there is that little heating plate thingy, the chicken thingy. <laughs> and you know why I can use it? Because Cody and Hannah came over yesterday. I prayed about it and I prayed about it because I knew I had to get these chickens out here. And all of a sudden they just showed up. So they're lending me, short term, their uh, extension cord. And look at the pretty girls. They're doing great. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Alrighty. What I'm going to do is take this down. And I'm going to open this up a little bit so that they can get out. I've got the door closed. And they can come in and out now. And they can just run around this coop all day long while the big girls are outside. i got to replace their water and whatnot. Look at them. They're like, free, I'm free. All right, girlfriends. Yeah, I'm going to put your food right down here. Oh, you guys are hungry. Yes, you're hungry. All right, they've got food and water over here, too. So I'm going to take this other water. Oh, I need to clean off this desktop. I'm going to take this over here and put it inside of here. I need two hands, though. There we go. It doesn't matter how high I put that thing. Come morning time, it always looks like this. So hopefully all these little cute little chickens will come out and run around. But yeah, I think they all did well. And it's kind of cool because I know that the, the baby chickens like to um, sleep underneath this part right here. And that's why I put the plate there. And then all the bigger chickens slept right next to them. Look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh, you're getting fat. Look at the Asian black. Look at how its face looks. Look at its feathers. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> it is warm and oh yeah <laughs> you are curious these rocks are pretty friendly they're all friendly okay come on baby chicken come on out you probably don't want to alrighty let me back out of here there we go one two one two three four five six are all six out so I'm just gonna let them play all day inside the big coop Keep the big girls outside, and at nighttime, I will bring them back in here, close up that little coop, and turn their little heat mat back on. Phew! Oh, they are just so. My goodness, that's the big one. Look it! Look it! Yeah, they get up. They are. These ones like to fly just as much as the leghorn, so. Well, I better go see if my house is burning down. <laughs> with the lasagna in the oven. The lasagna's done, and the house didn't burn down, so that's a bonus. You guys want to know what's in it? 
I don't think you do, but I'm going to tell you anyhow. All right, so some people had given me some, well, uh, vegetable soup. They don't like vegetable soup, and I noticed that it had a lot of tomato sauce in it. So that's kind of what I use for the base and the vegetables as well. And it turns out it's got little uh, alphabets in it too, <laughs> alphabet pasta. So I use that in the layers, lasagna noodles, um, Parmesan cheese, cheddar cheese, crab meat, <laughs> crab meat, one of my chopped up Cubanelles, uh, seasonings, you know, salt, pepper, garlic, oregano, basil, red pepper flakes. I don't know how this is going to turn out. The only way to figure it out is to cut right into it. I know you guys probably think this looks like vomit, but I took a bite of it already and it's, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I didn't use as many lasagna noodles as I usually do, and I didn't put them all the way across. Um, I just put one lasagna noodle down the center for each one. I should have put two, but it was a small pan. And, uh, yeah, I, I didn't need really the two cans of uh, vegetable soup, but I've tasted it, and uh, it tastes good. It looks terrible, but mm, it's good. Mm, it's got a little bite to it. I like the taste of crab meat in it, and it's good, but it looks like yuck, but it isn't yuck. It's yummy. All right, break time. I'm sitting here back inside the tiny house because I don't want to get eaten by bugs. Having some homemade lemonade from real lemon juice. Um, every time I start thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, something happens. I've been praying about those chickens, and then, well, a couple things happened. Doreen said that she's going to send me a solar panel, and then Cody showed up with an extension cord. Well, Cody needs his extension cord. I mean, I can't keep it forever. So today he was over here, um, and uh, we found an old extension cord, an old beat-up extension cord that had been all chopped up and what not, but we were able to find one piece with one end and one piece with the other end, the male and female ends. We found those, and he says, Cody, Cody says, I know what to do. I can, I can, I'm going to take this home, and I'm going to fix it. And uh, I, I didn't think he was going to be able to do it because, honestly, that extension cord looked really beat up. But it was very, very long. Well, about 30 minutes later, I see him coming up on his bicycle, once again with his backpack, uh, and he pulled that extension cord out, and you know what? He had fixed that extension cord, and I hooked it up, uh, worked with a fan, so he was able to take his extension cord back. I now have my own. It's at least 100 feet. It is a long, long extension cord, and he fixed it for me. He fixed it for me. So, I'm going to be able to get, every, get everything to work. Everything's going to work. Um, if I am able to get that extra solar panel, I'd like to set up a station right by the coop and just dedicate that solar out there by the coop to the chickens because it's going to get cold in the winter time. Now, I know most of the time, you know, I mean, chickens are fine in the winter and um, I'm in the south, so it stays relatively mild here too. I don't think it's, I mean, it's going to get, it may get down in the teens, but it doesn't stay that long, stay that cold all winter long. But um, I want to have, you know, maybe a little source of heat, maybe one or two of those little heat pads things for the girls just to clamor around. Um, maybe a heated water bowl to keep it from freezing. I don't even know if I'll need that. But all I know right now is I need to keep those baby chicks warm. Even though it is still pretty warm outside, it is dropping below 60, and it's going to start getting down into the low 50s, and they don't have all their feathers yet. So the fact that... Those things happen for me is just testament to that God does provide, you know. He does. You pray um, and you believe and it will happen. It will happen. And sometimes it takes a little while, but it'll happen. Anyhow, I have been doing laundry. I'm exhausted. I've got it all hung up. I'm not going to show you it. I mean, uh, how boring is laundry? I've done it all by hand in that big wash tub with my... Uh, uh, washboard thingy and um, it's all hanging up now so hopefully it won't rain <sighs> hopefully it won't rain I'm really really hoping it won't rain I'm keeping my fingers crossed and so I'm gonna go just relax out by the chickens right now and uh, get some well I've got my cold thing to drink I don't know what else I'm gonna get done we'll just have to see 
I am just so tired. I feel like it's going to rain. I feel like it's going to rain any minute because, well, the top of my right foot is killing me. My back is killing me. My right knee is killing me. <laughs> don't get old. I, I just suggest you don't get old. So we'll just have to see if I'm able to get anything else done today. I did manage to whack a few weeds and rake some leaves. This had all grown up. Yep, and I, I was down by the street too. I whacked a bunch of weeds down there by my culvert. Doesn't look like it, but I know I did it. <laughs> That's all that matters. And then the weed whacker went dead, so I'm gonna go put this on the compost heap. One little thing I wanna show you before I end this video, and that is, remember that? That's the passion fruit vine. I'm gonna let you take a little closer look at it. Remember this passion fruit vine? that I accidentally broke off right there. Well, I've been throwing water at it. And check it out. It is starting to come back. Look at that. It is starting to come back. So, yeah, never give up. Things are happening that are really good around here. I don't know what I've done to deserve it, but thank the Lord. I think I'm done for the day. You know why? Because I just took, picked a beetle out from inside my pants. A beetle. Something was crawling around back in there. And I'm like, ow, this itches. And it was a big freaking beetle. I don't know what kind of it was, but it was like this. It wasn't one of those palmetto bugs. Those like basically big flying roaches. Anyhow, gross. Well, it hasn't rained. And my clothes are dry. And the chickens are having a good time. So I'm going to go enjoy them. And that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.